Hey guys, Brendan Morrison here from Real West Coast. Today we're gonna to talk about what's the best course of action when you know you're not going to retain a salmon and you're gonna release it. So studies have shown and supported by the SFI that keeping the fish in the water is the best possible scenario when releasing a fish. We're talking about a waterline release, that's what we're gonna call it. So basically, fish comes up beside the boat, you can have your pliers handy, you can have your gaff handy, but essentially what we're trying to do is keep that fish in the water without touching it. If you get comfortable using a gaff and releasing that fish with a gaff, it's a very effective method. It's grabbing the leader, pulling against the hook, a slight turn, and that hook should pop right out. Now, at times, you might not be able to do that, so you can use pliers, so make sure you have those uh, at the back of the boat or somewhere available so you can resort to using pliers if you need to do that. Now worst case scenario is if you do need to handle the fish, make sure your hands are wet. Again, studies have shown that dry hands and grabbing these fish is causing damage that can be mortal to these fish. If you have to net it, again this is the final step in the process, okay, because netting fish has shown that it causes tears in their fins that never repair. So they have difficulty chasing prey, they have difficulty getting away from predators, all right? Two huge things for salmon. And again, that net on the outer mucus layer of the salmon is detrimental to their overall health. But if you do have to net a fish and bring it on board, make sure your hands are wet, try and get that hook out as quickly as possible. And the other thing that we've learned is in the past, a lot of times we'll hold on to that fish, like grab its tail, and hold on to that fish and try and revive them in the water. Well, what we're finding out now is that is actually causing more damage to the fish because we're touching it again and removing some of that outer protective mucus layer. So what we're advising to do is almost do a torpedo launch. So you have that fish at the side of your boat, just throw them in head first. Oxygen will get through his gills and give him a little spark and hopefully that fish will continue to do its thing and, and uh, head up the river and spawn so we can enjoy this resource for many more years. So to recap what we just talked about guys, is try and leave that fish in the water without touching it. Use a gaff or a pair of pliers, pop that hook out, the fish swims away without being touched.